Muli Bwanji, Muli Bwanji, Muli Bwanji. Welcome back to the Be Official Podcast. I'm your host, your guy, Paul Penny 37. And I am Derek to D in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're yeah. back like we never left. True. He just reminded me of some old punchlines I used to punch in <laughs> when I was a lonely man. Yeah. Amen. So welcome back. We just want to say thank you so much for the overwhelming support you guys True. have been showing us. It's so tremendous, you know, and we are so, so, so grateful. Continue showing us love and support, you know, sharing, commenting, and liking means a lot to us. Yeah. So without further ado, we got to roll into the intro. <laughs> Welcome back to the Be Official Podcast. And uh, yeah, we are back. And we're just so happy that you guys have to uh, to join us, you know. So we're just super excited. Welcome back to the Uncut Conversations, you know. So these are conversations that you guys are going to enjoy, you know. So if um, you didn't watch the, the first part of these conversations that we're having, because this is the second part, you know, you got to go back so that you catch up with us and come back to this um episode sure. so go back to episode 43 and when you watch that you can come back to this episode so we just want to say thank you so much for joining us and uh won't waste so much time we'll just dive deep into the questions because it's hot and it's heated right now we're recording very late yeah. because this is doing its thing you know so we couldn't like just waste the opportunity yeah and we just have to give you these conversations so uh without further ado let the show begin them say Vanya. So, Director D, yes. what techniques can help us let go of the past and focus on the present moment for greater mental resilience? Let's mm. uh, see if I jot down something here. Uh, techniques that can help us. Uh, I think number one, I'll highlight from uh, a mindful meditation. Uh, I think my mindful meditation is being intentional about our thought pattern, uh, making sure that we are very keen on the thoughts that pop through our brain. Uh, so not really concentrating on the negative thoughts, but mostly on the positive thoughts that come through and making sure that we are well aware of what's going through your brain. So mindful meditation is one of them. Uh, the second one I'll say is cognitive behavior. Uh, cognitive behavior is realizing uh, how impact how impactful uh, our thoughts are, but uh, so it's recognizing the negative thoughts and the positive thoughts and making sure that you're not focused on the uh, negative thoughts, but instead realizing that they are there and turning them into a positive way on how they can impact you positively. So recognizing the negative and turning them into positive. So that's cognitive uh, behavior. And uh, the other one would be gratitude. Gratitude is just basically you focusing on what you're grateful for what's present in your life because many other times we walk past what we see especially when we're chasing the goal we focus on the goal and forego what's present so gratitude is being grateful for what's present what you have what you're surrounded with so it does not matter maybe family friends whatever you got being grateful for that that kind of helps and uh journaling i think most times we don't write. Uh, so taking pen to paper, uh, writing down our thoughts, uh, the things that we want to do, how we plan out our strategies, what you, how you're going to accomplish that. Most times we just say, 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 and don't write. Uh, even the Bible encourages us to write our visions down. So making sure that you have a journal, a book that you're writing, you know, everything else. Uh, I think I'll, lastly, I'll go with uh, physical exercise and uh, support system. I think mm, physical exercise might not necessarily be the gym. Not everybody can do that, but making sure that you exercise in some way. Uh, you can't uh, ask uh, 
people that like to stay indoors, uh, it's it's important that at least for 20 or 30 minutes, you mm-hmm. walk out, get some fresh air, you know, reframe your mind, you know, uh, talk to somebody. And yeah, and uh, support system is find friends. Uh, you may not afford a therapist, but making sure that you got a buddy or, you know, somebody close to you that maybe a phone call away, making sure that you speak to them about what's going on with you. Yeah, I think I'll run over it down to that. Uh, you said it all, man. <laughs> Uh, I think you have touched down on all the points, you know, and uh, I have no answers left. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. So I think one one emphasis I'll just uh, put uh, on it is just being present in the moment, you know, understanding that you need to take in what's going on around you. The past is okay to visit. Yes. But staying there, that's where it becomes a problem. Yeah. You know. So most of the time, it's okay. You have to look back where you're from, you know. Look back where you're from, and that way it helps you have a heart that is full of gratitude because now you see the journey yes. from where you're from to where you're at now, you know, and you're just there taking it in because the longer you hold on to your past, the longer you delay your process of becoming the, the a better version of yourself. True. You know, people have been holding on to pasts for 20 years. And you become toxic to people around you. Yes. So, yeah, the big man has already said that. So, uh, Mr. Superstar. Yes, sir. Uh, it's your turn. I got you now. Yeah, man. <laughs> Put you in the corner, my brother. Please, please, please. Uh, so, in what ways mm-hmm. can we break the cycle of repeating the same mistakes and learn from our experiences? Um. I think the first one is self-awareness, right? Mm, mm. You need to be in a place where you are really uh, alert, you know, on the things that are happening around you. Sure. You know, so once, the, once you get to a point where you're picking on uh, certain things that are happening around mm. you, it's very easy for you to be in a place where you say, okay, uh, I think that is my trigger point. Mm-hmm. You know, so I need to be in a place where if there are certain people who trigger you, yes. please avoid them. If there are certain things that trigger you, avoid that. You know, so that you are um, your your mental health is at a point where it's you know very 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 alert, you know, and um, healthy. Because the 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 longer you are in a place where you want to please everybody, mm. it becomes a problem. If you know they're not good for you, make sure that you distance yourself. Don't be just around for the sake of being around. You know, and trying to fit in. So self self awareness is uh, number one. Then I have identity triggers, mm-hmm. which I mentioned, right? Yes. Understand your certain behaviors. You know, your behaviors, how how you move. You know, in certain uh, places. You know, because there are people who are kind of. I think I'm I'm one of them, but I don't know. I I I fit in both worlds. You know, yeah. where there's a lot of people, and again, I love my space. Yeah. You know, so I'll do my thing and just bounce back. You know, but. Uh, yeah, with the, 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 the life that we've chose, you know, it is what it is. But Sorry, yeah, first. understand your behaviors and make sure that you're moving in a way that um, you're also thinking of yourself. Don't just think of other people. True. Think of yourself. Then the last one is learn from your mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. I think that's one thing we don't do normally, you know, learning from our mistakes. Take down notes. Just like you said, journaling. You know, take down notes. Learn from... The things that have happened, right? The only way to get over um, a certain pattern is you sitting down and taking notes of what's going on around you, right? Such a way, it won't happen again. It might happen, but in a certain way, you'll be able. You now know how to handle it. I love that uh, you've you've highlighted most of what I wanted to say, but I think, like you put it, uh, mm-hmm. reflecting on our past experiences. Uh, past mistakes and learning from them is very important. Mm-hmm. Uh, we take L's, but learning from my L's, that's how switches failure to become a learning curve. So uh, learning from our past mistakes, uh, like he said, uh, our roots, finding the root cause mm-hmm. of the problem, very important. Uh, self-awareness, mm-hmm. uh, being self-aware, I think is already highlighted on that uh, thing. The, the 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 most 
important one i think for me that our highlight is uh learning from others mm-hmm. that's why i say working smart not hard uh learning from others is me learning from his past experiences making sure that i don't go through them because mm-hmm. i've taken the knowledge that he's given me based on what he experiences so that i don't have to go through the same thing mm-hmm. so it's important that you sit down with people that have been through uh things that you're going through so that they help you navigate what's about to come instead of you going to hit that war so learning from others amen yeah is it director d yes directors shoot 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 how can we cultivate our unique identity and resist the pressure to conform to societal expectations uh i think chikali cultivating our uniqueness is is very important uh, i think when it comes to mental health mm-hmm. one of the key important things is self awareness because it requires you to be presently self aware all the time uh looking at your surroundings what's going through your thought process mm-hmm. when you see that uh when you think of that all of that so self awareness is important because it allows you to take time to explore your mind yeah. so most people don't like spending time with themselves that's why they always find it hard to be alone they True. want to be somebody by itself awareness requires you to spend enough time to be with yourself mm-hmm. that's why it's important that uh relationship coaches will tell you date yourself first before mm-hmm. you date anybody because True. they want you to learn enough about yourself so you need to be self aware of yourself to be able to find the uniqueness in you which refers me to my second point is authenticity when you spend enough time with yourself you get to a point where you understand what's unique about you True. you know what what makes you special you know so uh, find that authenticity within you your beliefs your passions your values because that's what identifies you mm-hmm. and sets you apart from everybody else so find what's unique about you and uh set boundaries uh it's it's important to know like he said mm-hmm. uh, you know what triggers you what sets you off you know if it's people certain people if it's certain doing certain activities if it's doing so and so you know set boundaries that help keep your mental health in check and uh so we still editing those pictures did the amen yeah, so on yourself again support system is very important surround yourself with people that can help pinpoint or rather help you brush your uniqueness even more to make it shine not people that want you to dumb it down for everybody else uh so find yourself the right people and two oh sorry and the lastly is pesu what you're passionate about pesu your passions because even in the hard days you still have the urge to want to keep going True. when you don't feel like it mm-hmm. because you're passionate about what you're doing so pursue pursue what you're passionate about please because passion keeps you going even when the money is not coming in right passion keeps you going when you don't feel like doing it's the the thrill of knowing that you find joy in what you're doing so pursue what your passion is about yeah what more can i say you know he keeps on hitting bar after bar you know but uh yeah. i've just uh this one thing i think we said it in the previous episodes be you everyone else is taken you know yes so individualism uh, sorry to cut him short uh what you say be you everyone else is taken i think there is a similar quote that says don't be a true copy when you can be the original mm, mm, mm. don't be a true copy of of an original so like you said be you everybody else is taken hallelujah be the original copy not the fake mm, be official stay official yes sir you know so it's being in a place where you are in your individual state and where you um admire your abilities sure. because i think uh i kind of relate because there there are, there are there are moments there are moments in time when i was kind of like in a place where i used to fight with myself you know trying to be somebody or trying to be other people sure. 
you know, like I wanted to sing like this person, I wanted to rap like this person. But as time kept on going, right, um, I feel it's okay being in a place where you're trying to find yourself, right? Yes. So you will be in a place where you listen to this, yes. listen to that. But the goal should be finding yourself, right? So be in a place where you are, um, your abilities are things that make you who you are. Yes. Because God has made us unique in our own way, right? Sure. I'll give an example of Travis Green. Travis Green speaks all the time, right? But have you seen how that man moves? He moves different, you know? He has never let that part overshadow what God has impacted in his life, what God has put in his life, you know? So there are certain things that will make us feel uncomfortable because I don't know how to sing. Maybe I don't sing better than uh, this. I don't talk better than this guy. I don't wear better than... No, don't make it about them. Make it about you. So being in a place where you admire your individualism sure. is very important. You know, being in a place where you cultivate your unique skills, embrace your flows. That's another key, yeah. embracing our flows. Yes. Because I feel like that's where we miss out. You know, once we don't embrace our flows, we feel a certain type of way. So that uh, when somebody calls out like, ah, that's, he speaks on, you know, he stammers. He does, so, you know, we, we kind of like Shut become away. a turtle, you know, and hide away. Yeah. So embrace yourself, embrace whatever God has given you. You know, it's there for a reason and it's there for a purpose. Um, shine, shine, child, shine. <laughs> Mr. Superstar. Uh, what role mm -hmm. does courage play in standing out from the crowd and expressing our authentic selves? Mm. Courage, authentic selves. What does courage play? Yes. In uh, making a stand out from the crowd and expressing our authentic selves. Uh, so I'll talk about three things. Yes. So first of all, We've spoken about vulnerability already, yes. right? That's one important key. Yes. Be vulnerable. Even in the most uncomfortable situations. You know why? Because that will help you be in a place where you are aware of yourself mm -hmm. and you're aware of who you are. Mm -hmm. So no one will come in your way and make you feel some type of way because you have understood the kind of person that you are. So being vulnerable is very important to having courage to stand up in front of the masses, to stand up in front of friends, sure. family, sure. and being in a place where you're expressing yourself fully. Because I feel the more you shine away mm. is the more you have fear, yes. you know, and fear grabs you and chokes you. Yes. yes, so vulnerability is very important. The other part I wanted to say is self-acceptance. Mm -hmm. Embrace your imperfections. People, we, just like from the, the previous question, yes. we don't want to embrace our flaws. Those are imperfections. You know? So once you get to a point where you embrace your imperfections, you have the courage to even pull through, despite the darkness or despite whatever people throw at you. You know why? Because you've embraced who you really are. I'll give an example of William Last. He's mm -hmm. a comedian, right? Yes. From Botswana. Good guy, right? People used to make fun of him. Now nah, he has got a white gap on his teeth. He's not funny and all that kind of stuff, right? But his face, whatever that God gave him, he started using that, yes. you know, for the man he's making dough like no man's business. He's making money off what God gave him. So yes. he embraced his imperfections. He embraced his flaws, you know, whatever that he has. And he had to put it on display. That's what I'm saying. There's a reason why God gives you certain things, you know. Yes. We are all unique. That's the reason why a billion people, but yet we have different fingerprints. So the last point is uh, deepening relationship, right? Uh, you need to be in a place where you create, I think you mentioned having people around you, you know, having friends around you, having people you can trust, you know. So the connections will help you even foster, even more uh, boost in whatever that you want to do, right? Yes. If people around you are genuinely inclined with your purpose, right? Yes. It's easy for you to be in a place where you even step up. 
you know, not just people who just get like you for no one's business, mm. but in a place where these people are there to mm. genuinely give you the support that you need, you know. They know you can't do that, but they keep on pushing you towards those ends. They just want to see you fail, you know, but no such type of a, of, a, of, a, of a clan. You need a tribe that is in a place where they're giving you the full support and they're open and uh, genuine with you. So I think those are things that I would uh, put on the list. I think just to highlight a few things that you said, I'll start with uh, beauty is distinctive. Amen. And subjective, so we are all made in God's image. Uh, different shades, mm-hmm. uh, different color, yeah. different race, but all made in God's image. So what what might be appealing to somebody might not be appealing to the other person. True. But always remembering that we are all made in God's image. Amen. Just wanted to highlight that. So it takes courage to face fear. So uh, courage is important because it helps us face our fears. Mm -hmm. It's okay to feel fear. It's not right to live in fear. Mm -hmm. Big difference. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can feel it, it, but not live in it. Mm -hmm. Because there are times, yes, we'll be prone to fear. It's okay to feel it, Mm -hmm. but to live in it, that's a difficult part that we don't have to let it happen. It's Mm -hmm. okay to view it in the mirror seeing what you're scared of, but letting it run through you and your entire life. make Because the moment you let fear through the door, then it starts to make the decisions for you. True. So it's okay to feel it, but not live in it. Mm. So it will take courage for you to walk out of that and to say, hey, I can feel you and I can see you, but I might not let you decide on what my life should turn out. Amen. So it's okay to do that, but uh, embracing our vulnerability is, uh, like I said, finding the authenticity in our true self and the things that uh, we value, what we believe in, you know. So embracing that authenticity within ourselves is king, and it takes courage to do that. Uh, And resisting the the norms. Uh, We often, I think I love what you said in one of our episodes, Mm -hmm. Questioning the things we've known. Amen. So it takes courage for me to question what somebody else has taught me to say, why do we do what we do now? Why, why do we do this? So mm-hmm. questioning uh, the things we've been taught. So not conforming to the norms of, say, I know we've been doing this for years and that's how we do it. So it takes courage to question such things, uh, taking risks, calculated risk, not any risk, mm-hmm. take calculated risks and overcoming uh, self-doubt. It's one thing to doubt myself, but to let it decide the course of my decisions is a bad thing. So it's okay, I can self-doubt, but courage is what helps me to say, I might feel beaten down, Mm -hmm. but I might still carry on because I want to see what tomorrow has. So yeah. Derek to D. How can we shift our mindset from entitlement to a mindset of earning success through hard work and determination? Mm. Uh, entitlement is a, one, one word, I think, that takes away most of the opportunities that most of us should have had in life mm-hmm. because we think we deserve. I mean, yeah. We think we deserve. Uh, I love Pastor Robert Madu said, we should pay attention to the things that we mostly complain about. Amen. Because that shows where we are entitled the most. Mm. If you look at the things that you complain about to God that you think you deserve, it will show you where your entitlement lies because you think, Mm -hmm. I deserve that. So why, why has he not given me that? If I can't have, uh, then only God can have. <laughs> See, he's making jokes already. So we need to pay attention to the things that we think we deserve. So many of the times you find, uh, because uh, I'm a great uh, designer, uh, so uh, I think I deserve that job mm-hmm. because I'm the best. 
uh, now I'm a great uh, photographer. So I think I deserve that gig. Mm -hmm. Do you really? You might be great, but is it the entitlement talking mm. or is it your skills that you've all attained over time? So, uh, number one, I think I'll highlight gratitude. Gratitude is recognizing the resources, mm. the opportunities that are around and taking advantage of that. Uh, the other one I think I'll highlight is a growth mindset. A growth mindset is uh, taking the time to learn, educate yourself uh, on the things that you're, you're doing, realizing that it's the work that you're putting in that will in turn pull out the results that you want. Mm -hmm. So the growth mindset is uh, learning, uh, putting in the right hours. They say, I think 10 hours, it takes 10 hours for you to learn yeah. a skill. A, a skill, yes. Uh, so uh, the amount of hours you put in mm -hmm. on trying to learn. So that's what the growth mindset is all about. Uh, in setting realistic goals, uh, entitlement makes you say things that you think you, you require or you need or you're entitled to, but then it's the setting the realistic goals that help you celebrate each milestone in each success that you make. Amen. In your smaller steps, in your smaller journeys, every accomplishment you make, you celebrate that. So setting the realistic steps, that's the key. And uh, lastly, I'll talk about um, practicing empathy and uh, developing resilience in attitude. Uh, recognizing that um, I may not be entitled to this, but I'm a put in the work that is required of me to get this. Amen. So you know that you're not entitled to that, but you're willing to put in the effort it requires for you to get that, not that you're entitled to that. So that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's deep. Um, entitlement is a is a disease you know yeah. and uh especially i feel our generation has been subdued to be in a place where they feel entitled for everything right? yes and yes. uh it's such a very sad uh, it's a it's a popcorn society they want yeah. everything now exactly now so now. it's all about a very fast gratification yes you know everything has to come in very quickly yes you know, uh, it, I did, it don't want to take 10 years nope. putting in the work. Nope. You want to take three months and become a sensation already, you know. Um, you want to finish school and get to the position of a manager, you yes. know. And, I mean, um, I feel we parents, upcoming parents and parents now have a very big job to do because... Now we need to cultivate the generation that is coming before, I mean, after us. Yes. That entitlement and strip it off and replace it with gratification. Because if we allow uh, entitlement to be in a, to, to, to ruin the, the generations of tomorrow, then we'll, we'll have no generation. Because everybody that wouldn't want to put in the long hours, yes, you know, yes. just like you say, like putting in the long hours to work for something. Because my dad has this and that, why should I put in the work, you know? I mean, it's okay to let kids be in a place where you pave a way for them. Mm -hmm. But by the end of the day, they need to learn and say, uh, that's that stuff, it's not mine, you know? Mm -hmm. I also need to work hard for certain things. As parents, our job is to just provide a platform for our kids, a platform we never had, you know, and let them sow from there. You know, for you, you had to work hard to create the platform, yes. you know, but what you can do now is just create a platform for your kids and make them sow from there, making them understand the difference between having it easy, you know, and being in a place where you work hard for it so that by the end of the day, it doesn't feel like it's a handout. You know, because handouts, everybody wants handouts now. Everybody wants 
to be handed just something, you know, uh, black tax. It's crazy, man. That's why I'm saying today's parents or upcoming parents have a bigger job to do mm -hmm. because, my G, we need to cut out this black tax where you feel like your children are the ones who are, who go, who are going to retire. You. No, my brother. Uh, you need to work hard to be in a place where your kids, let them enjoy yes. whatever stage that they're at, the money they're going to make. Let them make mistakes, invest in things, rather than being in a place where you choke them. Yes. You know, um, so we need to do different than our forefathers. You know, so we need to be in a place where we are creating sure. value and being in a place where we don't create handouts, right? So value creation mindset, be in a place where you create value rather than you're creating an entitlement ground. Yes. All right. Understanding that you're in a place where you're creating value even makes you shift from you receiving handouts because you feel you know, I got to work hard for this. You know, I have to put in my my efforts. I need to put in the long hours, you know. So making you understand that it's a process that's developing you to be in a place where you want to be, you know, because trust me, there's a certain position, let's say, in the game of music, right? There's a place where talent gets you. Yes. And there's a place where talent, hard work will get you, right? But I, I receive... Sometimes a lot of messages from upcoming artists and uh, no, I need you to jump on this song. Brother, you just can't reach like that. Learn to say hi. Break it down. Let's have a conversation, right? Maybe it's sort of a feature you need from me. Maybe I just need to pour in some, uh, you know, one or two or three uh, encouragement that I can tell you. You know, so you sort people, like, I'll, let me speak on artists. We feel having the bigger feature will get us to a place where we want. No, nah, it won't. Matter of fact, if you're coming up, it really hurts your career, you know, because people only want to hear the bigger artists and not you. Yes. You know, so you need to be in a place where you work hard, you cultivate yourself, you're in a place where it doesn't feel like even when the bigger artist is coming, brother, you got to give them competition, you know, where you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe on a song. Makes even the place a healthy ground you know where you don't feel like that thing was handed over to you mm -hmm. you know many artists have come who have featured a lot of bigger artists and where are they now it is what it is so you Still need to go back to the same exactly place. so you need to be in a place where you're creating value for yourself yes. so have value to a point whereby when we say director d they know you already True. you know don't need to start this um I'm a filmmaker, a content creator, I'm a shasha. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm Director D. Yes. Oh, so, oh no, sorry, sir, sir. Because you know why? You have created value and you're not in a place of entitlement. So the other part is uh, problem solving. Shift from the mindset of being in a place where you're just receiving, right? Mm -hmm. But being in a place where you're a problem solver, okay? Don't complain. Be in a place where your problems over. Workplaces, it's right the corporate space. Yes. They want a person who solves problems. Don't be there giving them more problems. Then you're gone faster than you came. Yes. You know. So be in a place where you're a problem solver. Solve problems. Trust me, you will be the most valued if you are always solving problems. Because where the problems, there's opportunity. You know, and I think that's one of the last points I need to point out is long term thinking, because once you prioritize uh, long term thinking, mm -hmm. uh, you are in a place where success over instant gratification is cut out because you're thinking 10 steps ahead. Yes. It's not thinking about now. Right. Just like you mentioned, instant gratification is a killer of the value that you are supposed to create in a long period of time of like, let's say, five, three years, right? We want to be in a place where now we receive the money, right? People want to be rich at 22, 21 years. Like, it's, it's, so I was laughing because there's a podcast I was watching. They're saying, now the bar is like 20 years. At 20 years, I need to be a millionaire. Yeah. You know? So these kids are giving them, they're giving themselves pressure, sure. you know, to, to, to live unrealistic. I feel like that's fantasy, you know? Certain things won't happen then, then. 
There are people, by God's grace, have been given the grace to, yeah, by 20, whatever, they'll, yes. they'll, they'll, they'll make it, you know. And the uh, people, <laughs> it takes time. And there's a reason why it takes time, yes. you know. You have a track record to where you're going and you understand the journey and the process. There's a, there's a clip I came across, right? It said, uh, a person who has done 10 years of the work and a person who has done a year of the work, if both of them lose, right, uh, their success, who is more likely to build faster? The one with the 10. Because you know why? He has the experience. He has done this over and over again. The one year, he's just getting started. You know, he's still learning. Yeah. So don't look at other people's timelines. Focus on yours. Yes. And trust me, that's the only way you're going to beat the entitlement mentality. Focus on yours. Compete with yourself. That's it, folks. Nice that's it, for folks. Days. That's it, folks. So, uh, this has been a good one. Yeah. I don't know what you think about this. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. A great eye open, I think. If if you go back, even watch the first yeah. part, you 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 have a lot of dimes to pick from mental health. Yes. And how vital it is. This thing. To you becoming a success. Uh, so mental health is key to your success. So this was this was great. Yeah, I also enjoyed it because uh, these are things that we're all going through, you sure. know, and we're all fighting. Uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of suicides from sad. Um, our generation and it's very, 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 very sad, you know. Young lives are being lost, you know. We, Our parents are burying us instead of us burying our parents. Sure. It's very sad, you know. So all I can say is that uh, let's spread the word, you know. Um, somebody might want to hear this message. Please share this podcast Tag us, cut it if you want, put it on TikTok, share it with your loved ones, your click, your circle. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for joining. You know, uh, I've been your host, your guy, Director D. Oh man, Popeye 37. I think na lema. Nasila. This is the tad man. We are recording this. This is like two yeah. in the morning, you yeah. know, and everybody's sleeping. So yeah. my mental health is drained right now. <laughs> But all I can say is just thank you so much for your overwhelming support. Sure. Continue liking, sharing, and, you know, uh, spread the word. Spread the word. Sure. So for me and the gang gang and Director D, it's peace out.